quickly going to tell you how to pass the GCIH exam. Um, what I did to pass, the steps I took to pass, and what you're going to need to do to possibly pass it yourself. This isn't a definitive guide. This is solely what I did, the steps and procedures that I've used adapted from every other test that I've taken, whether it be SANS or from any other or, or from any other organization. First thing I did is I read through the books. Um, read through the books completely. Read through the tops, read through the bottoms. You're not trying to necessarily understand the material at this point, but you want to read the books in their entirety and all the books, not some of them, not just the labs, not just the ones that correspond to each day, not just the CTF. You want to read them all. The second thing you want to do is you want to take the SANS course. Complete the class. While going through the class, browse through the book. You read it already. You kind of want to just line up with match up what they're saying with what's in the book. And you want to make sure you're paying attention. Okay, This is kind of hammering in the information that you learned while reading the books the first time. All right, class is over. CTF is over. You finished everything up. Congratulations, right? Go ahead and take that practice exam. Practice exam is going to give you a gauge of what you need to focus on and what you need to index. After the practice exam, you're going to make your first index. It might be your last index, depending on how comfortable you are. You're going to use this to guide you through the book so you understand where things that are hard to remember are located. This is why the index is different for every person because some people have better retention than others and some people remember other things better than other things. And then you want to go ahead and read the books again. <laughs> you want to read the books this time, but you want to kind of just browse through it rather quickly. You kind of already know what's there. Well, you should know what's there, right? But this is just for familiarity and just to, again, put another nail in there so that you understand the information rather well. Then from there, you want to schedule your test within the next two weeks. Take that test while the information is still fresh in your head and use your index to guide you through it. Follow these steps and take it seriously and you should pass. Good luck.